hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another YouTube video. So guys, today we have another exciting haul. It's sort of a Primark haul. I feel like most of the bits that I have picked up are from Primark. I know you guys absolutely love my Primark haul last time, so hopefully you guys are going to love this one as well. And then I've also picked up some bits from Boots. So it's sort of like a combined haul of Boots, Primark, I think there's a few other shops in there as well. Um, but if you haven't seen from the title, I'm going to be bringing you a holiday essential haul. Um, so it's sort of a mixture of clothes, swimwear, you've got suntan lotion, fake tan, like honestly all the bits you're going to need for your holiday. I personally just purchased all this stuff because I'm going away next week, so I literally had to stock up on some of this stuff. Some of it's sort of new products as well, which I've not yet tried, but I thought it would be interesting to show you guys what I picked up and maybe you guys want to pick it up for yourself as well. If you guys are new here, then hi my name is Bella I make a lot of fashion and lifestyle videos so if you're into that type of content go and hit that subscribe button also follow me over on my Instagram account my handle is at Bella Stovey I'll pop that on the screen now super super close to 10k so any followers I can get from here I'd be insanely grateful for so guys I think I'm going to go through the Primark bits first just I think most of the stuff is from Primark and then I'll talk you guys through the sort of boots and other sort of skincare what is it like cosmetic -y things afterwards because I think Primark's mostly like sort of accessories and clothes so guys the first thing I picked up was a new beach towel which doesn't really sound like the most exciting thing in the world although obviously I needed a new one I've literally just got like those ones you've had for years you know like just the ones you keep in your cupboard that are literally like from like your holiday in Florida like five years ago that's just what I've got like just like weird colorful ones and I just wanted a really like nice Instagram ball one to get like holiday content pictures with so I picked up this gorgeous sort of like beige and white striped one I just thought I love the neutral colors on it it's gonna go so nicely with my feed and sort of like all my neutral colors I'll be taking on holiday it's like this just like pose with a white bikini and like a nice straw hat it is just such a vibe so yeah I just picked this up it's super soft um, I think it was super affordable as well so it says it's an extra large one as well which I really liked because I'm quite tall and normally when I get a towel and I sunbathe on it it like half my legs are hanging off all my head is in the sand so extra large is a very good uh factor for this factor very good thing for this to have uh this was where's the price this is actually in the color taupe and this was nine pound which i think is is that expensive for a towel i don't really know i've never really bought towels um I don't know, for Primark maybe that's slightly expensive, but the quality of this does feel unreal. And after I've used it as a beach towel, I probably will just keep it in my bathroom at home just because it is a lovely sort of aesthetic colour, sort of matches with our house vibe as well. Okay guys, so next up from Primark, honestly, these are literally like my favourite thing in the world. Um, so whenever I go on holiday, I don't like to take, like even if I'm just going in England, I want to pack like very lightly as you would have seen in my whole capsule wardrobe styling video. I don't know if that will be out before or after this video, but... You'll see how I pack lightly with my clothes. I also like to pack lightly with my sort of cosmetics and sort of like shampoos, moisturisers, stuff like that. So I basically purchased this little five pack travel kit. As you guys can see, it's got a red glare on it. Um, but you basically get these five little sort of tubs. And this was literally £1.50, which I think is amazing. And um, basically what I'm going to be doing is just sort of moving some of like my hair serums like if i've got a big bottle of hair serum i'm just gonna be putting it in a small little container it just saves so much room and it's just so much more efficient to just pull it out and you sort of know how what everything is you can even like stick little labels on these as well i've done that before um they're just really really useful a bit of a boring item but i sort of get excited over these and i end up just keeping them afterwards like even if you're just going for like a friend's house for like a sleepover or like to your boyfriend's house maybe you don't want to take like the whole container if you've got a big thing of something like I also have like coconut oil which I always use like on my hair. I don't want to take the whole tub because it's literally like that big. I can just scrape a little bit off and put it in the small tub which is honestly ideal for me. So yeah, absolutely love these. £1.50, can't go wrong. So guys, next up from Primark, another little bit of a boring but sort of very necessary item. And it is Micellar. Is it Micellar or Micellar? I always call it Micellar. Garnier Water. Um, and I feel like a lot of people don't really know that. Primark stocks this and this was literally 90p um, and you basically get this small little size which I love because again it's not going to focus but you know you guys know what this is anyway so I love that you get the little small size because it's just so much easier to pack in your suitcase or in your makeup bag because that big one that you can get is honestly massive I use that at home all the time but obviously I want a nice little small one to take away with me so yeah this was literally 90p from Primark if you guys are wanting a small missile of water then go check it out in Primark 
And just another little quick, sort of more boring thing. Um, I just picked up some cotton pads as well from Primark. These were literally 50p. They're literally the cheapest that I can find. Um, I don't really like to use like cotton pads like this type of cotton pad i have my reusable ones but you do have to put them in the washing machine and i don't know how long i'm going to be actually going on holiday for so i'm just gonna i've just bought for the sake of the holiday just this pack although normally i would always use the reusable bamboo ones which you guys would have seen in my amazon lockdown haul but yeah i just picked these up just because they're a bit easier if you're going away and you don't keep having time to sort of like wash the pads that you're using like reusing them yeah i think you get 120 which is really good for 50p okay guys so the next thing i picked up again i'm so excited about i'm honestly just such into this like summery mykonos vibe even though i'm literally like i said going to dorset i've literally bought all this stuff as if i'm going to like mykonos or ibiza but nah i'm not going to i'm going to dorset but i picked up this gorgeous sort of like woven straw bag and this is literally stunning so it's like a nice big circle it's big enough to sort of fit that beach towel which i just showed you guys so it's got a lot of room but it still looks cute and you can still just sort of like wear it over the shoulder and it doesn't feel too bulky because i know a lot of beach bag can look very ugly like I'm, I'm going for an instagram aesthetic vibe if you guys can't tell um so yeah i'm honestly obsessed with this i think it's just gorgeous um, and what i love about this as well is that you get like the zip inside so a lot of beach bags are just sort of like open sort of tote bags which all your stuff can sort of fly out which is really really annoying so you get a nice zip um and it's got a lot of room and then inside as well you also get a little pocket which i love because sometimes i like to take my jewelry like i like to wear my jewelry to the beach or say if you take your sunglasses and you want to take them off you can just like put them in this little pocket keeps them all safe and they don't get lost in like a big massive bag so yeah i absolutely love this i think i'm gonna be keeping this for years as well like it's literally never gonna go out of fashion and it also will look lovely with that straw hat that i got that i showed you guys in my last primark haul like those beige cream sort of rattan vibe it's just honestly i'm so here for it so this was 10 pounds it's in the color tan and it's just one size um 10 pounds that's, that's cheap i think for it's sort of for primark i don't is that cheap i don't know i feel like primark have sort of raised their prices a little bit but i mean 10 pound for a gorgeous quality really nice beach bag that's never going to go out of fashion it's a winner okay guys so i think this is the final two things i picked up from primark i thought i picked up more but clearly not um maybe most of the stuff has come from boots i apologize um but anyway i basically picked up this item i've got they're basically the same item but i just picked up in two sizes because i thought it was just too good to not get so it's gonna be really hard to show you guys this on camera just because it's quite an odd shape but it's this gorgeous one piece like swimsuit it's like this gorgeous black plunge detailed swimsuit it has this really nice like padding in the cup so if you guys don't have a big bust and you really like to, i really like to wear like well, i'm basically talking about myself i don't have a big bust um but i really like to wear this sort of like plunging neckline although sometimes it can literally flatten you like completely flatten you so it's really nice it has a slight little cup detail just to sort of give you a little bit of an extra boost um it comes down oh got my hair caught there um it comes down really low at the front and then it has this gorgeous like tie detail around the middle i think it's like a multi-way one you can sort of wear it in multiple ways sort of tied around at the front tied at the back um and then it's got an adjustable bit around the neck as well which i think is amazing so yeah the reason i picked this up in two sizes was because one it was five pound guys this was literally five pound i think it was reduced from 12 um so yeah i hope this is gonna fit because that is such a bargain if it does because i've been on the look on the lookout for a black like black cut swimsuit for so long so if, got, if this fits guys this will be such a good buy so yeah that's why i picked it up in two sizes just because i thought i know it's probably not going to be there when i go back because it's just such a good buy so i did pick it up in the size uk 10 and the uk 12 just because i've got a long body and sometimes with these sort of things they just like i feel like i'm very restricted in them um if they're sort of too short for me although i guess you can tie up the top as much as you want which is a really really great detail i love that so yeah literally guys five pound i've literally got two here so we'll be trying those on uh, i'm not going to do a try on clip for you guys just again because it's sort of a bit like underwear type thing i don't know if i'll be able to insert a picture i don't know if i would have got an insta pic in it by then but yeah honestly obsessed with this it sort of fits like those shein wrap swimsuits that a lot of people have that are just sort of the two bits of material that tie around the front honestly obsessed okay guys the next thing i actually purchased for my holiday was new pairs of eyelashes um 
I'm a lover of false eyelashes. I've got them in now, like, just really light ones, which I've actually picked up again. I'm going to be showing you guys which ones I wear. Um, so, normally, I would wear, sort of, these on holiday. I feel like they're just so easy. Like, just if you get, like, a really nice natural lash, they make it so much quicker just to put on in the evening. Like, if, if you go on holiday with your boyfriend, you guys will know. They get really pissed off if you take, like, ages getting ready. Like... And obviously I don't want to take ages getting ready anyway. But if you can literally just pop on an eyelash, you're good to go. You don't have to sit there like layering mascara on. Like your boyfriend's getting hungry, wants to go. You can literally just pop on the false eyelash and you're good to go. So my two favourites that I've been loving at the moment. Um, I actually picked this up, one up from Boots. Although I think they sell it in literally like Superdrug and everywhere. It's just an eyelaw. It's the eyelaw brand. So they sell it on a lot of different sites. And it is the Fluttery... I don't know if you guys can see that. It's the Fluttery Light Lash. They're just like such a nice... There you guys can see now. They're literally just such a nice wispy sort of half lash. I've got them in now. Um, is it going to focus? They're just very, very natural. Like I literally just sort of blend them in with my own mascara. They just add a little bit more volume sort of in the corners. Maybe if your eyelashes are slightly thinner. I do have quite long eyelashes. But they do take quite a lot of mascara to sort of build up. So just sticking these on honestly is just so quick and so easy. You get a glue in it which I love. I love this eyelid glue like... I've just bought a duo glue and I'm keen to try that one out. But honestly, this eyelid glue that comes with these lashes are honestly so good. And they literally last so long as well. So yeah, I've got those, which are my go-to at the moment. Um, I'm not quite sure how much these were. I think they were like 5 99 or 4 99 Not sure. I'll try and link some online as well and in store places that sell those, sell that brand. And then my other sort of dressy lash, which is my go-to dressy lash, which I think I've worn in pretty much all of my YouTube videos. I just was a bit hot today and didn't really feel like wearing them. Um, and it is the Sissy Lash, which is the same brand as my hair extensions. You guys would have seen on my hair extension video, or sort of hair care journey video, I did mention about this brand. And I also absolutely love their eyelashes. They're honestly just such a stunning sort of like fluttery. They're quite like exaggerated, but they're not too sort of ott they're not too gappy they're honestly just the most perfect lash that i've found and these are literally five pounds like literally five pounds that is insane i think i've I had my last pair i got it in january for my birthday and i literally wore it until the end of lot like this is the only time that i've just picked up a new pair and i wear them quite a lot so honestly guys they're gonna last you ages so yeah check out sissy hair um and these are ah24 the star is ah24 um they don't really have names so it's quite confusing but ah24 if you guys want a really natural but still sort of exaggerated evening lash okay guys so next up from boots i picked up some hair care i've really got into my hair care recently like honestly i've been loving it um i feel like i've been taking a lot better care of my hair and sort of my extensions so honestly this humidity is not the best for my hair like my own hair is quite thick and it just gets thicker and more frizzy sort of in this heat. I don't know if you guys can see just sort of little wispy bits at the top. But I keep getting them like in the morning my hair will look fine. I'll be out all day and literally it will start to like puff away from my extensions. Which are a lot more sort of flatter and shinier. So I basically picked up this which is the got to be. Is it Schwarz? 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 I don't know how you say that um oil licious weightless dry oil mist with argan oil um and it's just sort of like a lightweight spray that you spray onto your dry hair um and you can basically just spray like i could just spray this on now i think you hold it like 30 centimeters away and it just sort of tames the frizz and leaves your hair with a shine which i just thought was just super useful for me especially on holiday because i can tell that that sea and that sand it's not going to do wonders for this hair. Um, I feel like when I was blonder, I really used to love that because it would just sort of look beachy and I would love to sort of get the sun on my hair and make it look even lighter. But now I'm trying to keep this more like sleek, silky vibe. This will be perfect for sort of taming my flyaways. Um, so I'll, I'll use this and let you guys know in a future video if it's any good. I think it was literally only, I think it was 4 99 or 6 Was it 6 99 or 4 99 Let me get the receipt. Forgot, I think he's forgotten to add it on the... I don't know if I paid for this. Oh no, okay guys, I found it. It's on the receipt. It was £4.29. Um, it was just sort of like under and off a bit. Yeah, it's £4.29. I'll let you guys know if this is any good in my future videos. So guys, next up from Boots. Maybe my favourite item in this whole haul. Like honestly... I'm obsessed. I can't believe I didn't actually go out to get these. I just saw them sort of just sitting there. And I was like, hmm, oh, I'll let me try those on. So it's a pair of sunglasses. Um, and it comes in this cute little pouch. It's from Boots. Um, it's just like Boots' own make. And it's a pair of sunglasses. And 
I don't know if I've told you guys, I've literally wanted the Chanel sort of vintage style sunglasses for so long. And I know a lot of like sort of companies are doing dupes of those now, just sort of like those sort of rim, like no rim sunglasses with the little diamond tape at the side. That's honestly just, I just wanted a pair for so much. Um, I couldn't really find a pair that I really loved and I obviously just wanted to try them on. I didn't want to order them online because I know I've got quite a big head and quite a big face and it's quite hard for me to sort of wear. Like sunglasses have to be quite oversized. Um, so when I saw these in boots, I was literally like, oh my god they're literally perfect so let me get them out so they're these gorgeous little sort of vintage 90s style sunglasses they've got sort of like a tinted sort of pinky beige frame i don't know if are you guys seeing that i don't know if you are yeah you guys can see a little bit better literally how stunning are they they've got a gorgeous little diamante sort of ring at the side just to sort of mirror that sort of chanel vibe and i just thought these were just so nice like i really wanted a pair of sunglasses that because i've obviously got my versace ones i've got like sort of black sort of like visory style ones and then i've got sort of a pair of classic aviators i didn't really have a pair just for sort of in between like sometimes the big black ones only really sort of go with like sort of like sporty vibes and then the sort of more classic ones only really go with pretty vibes so this i can actually wear with all sort of vibes like literally this will go with like sort of sporty outfits like just as like a cool vibe it will go with pretty bikinis pretty dresses it's just like 90s vibes i'm just so honestly so obsessed with them so let's try them on and show you guys how they look on we need a little bit of a wipe i'm um, actually gonna have a, a weird glare in them because of the ring light but honestly obsessed with these they're literally so nice. I love the detail on them. So I can't believe I actually got these in boots. I was literally so impressed. And I've wanted these for so long. Um, so yeah, honestly, love, love, love. And these were literally 19 99 which I thought was amazing. Like, a pair of sunglasses, like, they're really nice quality. They've got the diamond sort of bits on the side. They're just such nice quality, such nice glasses, and super affordable. I feel like they're not as cheap as just sort of, like, Primark ones. But I'm not going to worry too much about them, like sort of on the beach, sort of like my Versace ones. I wouldn't really take those just in case they got sandy or broken. Like these ones, I literally wouldn't mind taking them and sort of, I'll also be careful with them, but not sort of worrying about them too much. So yeah, that is my good little find from Boots. So guys, next up, would it be a holiday haul if I didn't include some suntan lotion so i do like to use a real mixture honestly it just sort of depends where i am what i would buy i talked to my dad the other day and when we went to cyprus on holiday like this was literally like six seven years ago we used this cyprus like the suntan lotion we bought in cyprus and we're sure it was ombre solaire um garnier one and it was like a, it said tan accelerator although it didn't have any fake tan in it at all and honestly guys i've never been that tanned in my life like i don't know if it was that that suntan lotion or if it was just like the cypress sun because honestly i've never been that dark in my life like i literally loved it and it was it was just such an even color like a natural brown color like it wasn't orange it wasn't like fake it lasted so long and we've been trying to look for that suntan lotion ever since and i picked one up from boots i don't know if this is going to be the right one or not but it sort of vaguely feels like a similar one that we bought it might just be like one you can only buy in cypress that we actually got but we'll try it out anyway so it's a garnier Ombre Solaire, so it's a Garnier Ombre Solaire Factor 20 Ideal Bronze Tanning Enhanced Protection Spray. Um, so it's water resistant, non greasy, which is my honestly my favourite type of suntan lotion that I buy. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if this has the same effect as that Cypress one. Hopefully it does. I'll keep you guys updated. Then guys, I picked up this for my face, which I thought was really, really good. So it's this Garnier Ombre Solaire Sensitive Advanced Face um spray as you can see um and this is factor 50 it's hydrating um uv protection mist spray and what i love about this is you can literally just spray it on and you don't have to rub it in and it even says on here that you can apply it over makeup so literally if i wanted to go to the beach sort of get some insta pics i could literally put, do like a full face of makeup or i don't think i'm really going to do that but i could put on a bit of foundation a bit of highlight a bit of mascara and then just spray this over the top so yeah this was i think it's this was seven pounds um i just forgot to tell you guys the price of this one um this was 4.99 i think so guys, next thing I actually picked up from Boots, I am so excited about. I feel like I've wanted this for literally ever. Um, and I finally found it in Boots. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to buy it. Just test it out, see what it's like. It was quite expensive, but I'll let you guys know if it's worth the money. So it is the Vita Liberata Body Blur Gel, I think it is. Or Hydrating Finish HD Skin Finish. It doesn't really say what it is. I think it's just sort of like a gel type 
sort of like serum-y thing. Um, and I got this in the shade Latte Dark. So basically what this is, it's just sort of like a makeup, sort of instant tan, sort of body blend thing. This is what I understand it to be anyway. So I was thinking of sort of wearing this on my face, just sort of mixing with a bit of moisturiser, sort of as like a glowy sort of primer. Or you could literally even use it sort of if you're, let's say if I come in from a day of tanning and I feel like, oh, I'm a bit patchy or I've got like some sections that are a bit white or I feel a bit just generally a bit pale, I can literally just pop this on with a makeup brush or a um, fake tanning mitt and it just literally gives you such a lovely glow um, and just looks really, really flawless. It doesn't transfer on your clothes. So if you're going on a night out and you just feel like you want that sort of extra glow and just sort of be a little bit darker, pop this on. It's so much easier than fake tan. Like you can just literally just brush it on and you're good to go. So yeah, this was 19.96. So yeah, not the cheapest at all, but I've heard such amazing things that I'm expecting it to be worth the money. So guys, the final thing in this haul is gonna be a fake tan. Um, I feel like I don't really normally fake tan on holiday. Like, I normally just like to get a very like natural tan, but recently I've just sort of been taking a bit more care of my skin. I feel like I just wanna wear fake tan more. It literally gives you the same results anyway. Um, so yeah, I picked up this Isle of Paradise dark self tanning water there you go you guys can see it now i'm a massive fan of isle of paradise i have been for years i always use their tanning drops um like the dark tanning drops on my face sort of mixed in with moisturizer and also on my body as well but i just thought the mist and the like this water just looked so nice um, it even says it sets makeup as well which i'm really interested to try so you could literally just spray this on before a day at the beach and then you'll come off with like a lovely glowing face and people are like oh my god how'd you catch the sun I love paradise. So yeah, I think this will be really, really good. I'll let you guys know again how this is. If, you're, if you guys go on holiday with your boyfriend and he doesn't like sort of sticky sheets and doesn't sort of like that fake tan smell or anything like anything to do with fake tan basically, this is really good because it just doesn't transfer and it just feels like you don't really have anything on. This was £12.63, which apparently was 50% off. So normally it's quite expensive. But I think £12 for quite a big bottle should last me quite a while. I do have the drops and they're literally a tiny bottle and they literally last me probably about six months to eight months. So yeah, very happy with this. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully all these products are gonna give me a lovely holiday glow. So guys, that is the end of my sort of little holiday haul. Hopefully it's been helpful for you guys. If you are going away yourself, or even if you're just spending it in the garden, you wanna pick up some of these products. If you wanna look good for Insta, Honestly, all these products are going to be for you. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy this video, leave a comment, like the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You guys know the drill. Um, also follow me over my Instagram as well. Love you guys. Um, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.